Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys six of the most insane war reports I've ever seen in Rise of Kingdoms. Now, the last time that I made a video showing off some of the most deadly war reports in Rise of Kingdoms, you guys seem to really enjoy it. So today we're back. We've got six more war reports that we're going to be going over here today. Now, this burning fortress on the screen right here is no mistake. This is a little bit of foreshadowing for what's to come later in the video. Now, real quick, before we jump in, we are so close to 20,000 subscribers. So if you're not subbed yet, make sure you go down there, click that button. And while you're down there, click that thumbs up button as well. Coming in at number six, we have bunny versus is Zangbot. This is this is infamous, right? This is infamous. You guys have seen these players before. Bunny on the defense here with Zenobia YSS and Zang over here on the offense with Zang Yu and Chandragupta. We see only a 2 million troop capacity here for both the rally and the flag. Very similar dead troops here. We have 7.8 million deads in the flag with 2.4 million severely wounded. We have 7.6 million dead over here in the rally. Almost 2.1 million healed in the flag and just guys look at those slightly wounded numbers 64 million slightly wounded versus 44 million slightly wounded in the rally to put this in a real world perspective there are only about 328 million people in the entire united states if we just take into account the slightly wounded units there's 108 million troops involved in this battle report which means this battle report involves approximately one third of the entire united states population that's right one in three people in the united states would have to be involved to recreate this specific rally absolute insanity when you think about it like that both these players are true legends of rise of kingdoms and uh yeah you're gonna be seeing a lot more zenobia yss and a lot more zhang yu chandragupta because boy they are insane but even more insane than that is what's been going on with this specific alliance fortress owned by suicide squad and we can zoom out a bit and you can see that there is still some insane fighting going on in this kvk it's it's actually insane and my good friend rick t actually sent me some of these war reports because he is in this kvk he's in the alliance burn it all and this is insane right and, and my computer like my computer is literally lagging like you can see i can't scroll like th there's so much going on in this kvk right now we have burn it all on the offensive here with the player run 32 ramsey's nebu Ramsey's Nebu, absolutely insane rally combination, hitting that fortress with Panda Time in there. Zenobia YSS, like I said, guys, you're gonna see this combo all the time. The rally lost 42.4 million power, whereas that garrison lost 73.2 million. An absolutely devastating rally attack here in this KVK, and one of many. I'm sure there are tons of reports just like this. Ramsey's Nebu losing 6.4 million units with 44 million slightly wounded we have the Zenobia YSS over here with 8.1 million deads 2.6 million severely wounded and almost 70 million slightly wounded units absolutely insanity you guys can see here that they are working with the 3 million troop capacity for both the rally and the garrison as you can see here the rally has a nice healthy mixture of you know a bunch of t4s a bunch of t5s the trick here is constant reinforcement constant reinforcement you're seeing actually a lot of t4s in uh in this rally as well but honestly it's it's a really nice mixture between the two and this this just goes on for days baby this just goes on for days. this is an unlimited unlimited troop details like there's you're just never going to reach the end right it's been it was reinforced hundreds of times it's it's actually insane how long these war reports actually can be if we take a look over here on the defensive end we're gonna see a lot of the similar we see a lot of mixed troops here on the defensive end and it looks like that might have been their strategy here we do see some siege units here in this in this uh in this defending garrison so that's definitely a good sign for the defenders meaning some of that power loss was troops that they didn't really care too much about right like if you look here this player lost tons of siege units doesn't really matter they traded that for you know actual troop deaths uh from the offensive so you can see here again tons of siege units this is definitely a mixed garrison lots of actual units dying though so right so this is not it's not like they uh they did a full siege garrison there is tons of units here that did actually die very real units very devastating war report for the defenders here but again 
lots of siege units too so you know give and take a little bit there but ultimately we're seeing uh heavy losses by the defenders here heavy losses but it doesn't stop there because this war report has aoe there is aoe on nebu so you know it's catching some people in the open field who aren't paying attention this poor mulan with no no one by her side all alone in the open field just instantly a hundred thousand troops are gone you know obviously sev wounded not dead but you can see here there's a lot going on here this player again just standing there 50,000 dead just not uh, must have not been paying attention or maybe it was lag usually it's lag in, in these types of instances because it's just so insane I mean I can't even scroll through this war report um, without my without my game completely freezing because there's just so much going on but you can see here that there was indeed a counter rally from Attila Takeda coming in hitting that Ramses Nebu which makes their rally even more impressive because it just did so well right it just did so well even though it was getting hit by an absolutely devastating Attila Takeda over here by player aviator aviator you could see it right here big brain right there i put those two and two together you can see this performs really well right obviously you're countering uh you know you're countering the archers with the cavalry so this is going to be a great uh, a great outcome for them obviously 266 sev wounds to 412,000 uh sev wounds over there and there's just way it's a way bigger troop capacity as well so they obviously hit this uh shortly in into that rally and uh they did really well i seriously am having such a hard time scrolling through this because my game what is this what is this oh my god oh my god we have another is this another counter rally jesus Christ. oh okay so we see 590,000 sev wounds to the 380,000 sev wounds over here by the attila takeda same player same aviator over here just doing absolute work hitting that devastating ramses rally and uh and doing what they can to make sure that their garrison survives look at this poor ethel flood man almost 200,000 units just get completely crushed over here let's see how many counter rallies we can count in this war report all right at the very end we see a the counter rally from powerpuff girl over here coming in with her own attila takeda 3.1 million troops against the 1.8 over here uh from burn it all you see 106,000 sev wounds to the 87,000 sev wounds over here so Attila Takeda doing pretty well against Ramses Nebu a very effective counter rally in this instance but this is guys this is an insane battle report I'm so happy that I actually have the actual report instead of just screenshots so if you guys are watching if you're in an insane kvk and you have reports like this send them to me we'll take a look here on the channel and we'll break it down and we'll give credit where credit is due because some of you guys are absolute legends in rise of kingdoms and you deserve to be shown to the world best of luck to both sides here in this kvk i know that they've been fighting for days now like literally days this pass has looked like this changing hands so yeah crazy kvk i'm pretty sure dragothian has been over here as well like there's just there's so much going on oh there he is dragothian he's always online he's always fighting he this dude is an absolute he doesn't he doesn't sleep bro he doesn't sleep i think he's probably lost at least like uh, i don't know 80 million power since this thing started I, it's just it's crazy t2a you guys are absolutely crazy burn it all insane insane kingdoms fighting in this kvk so best of luck to both sides we'll see how it goes but even more insane than that rally report we have over here number four it looks like this one was from january this one is a bit blurry but we have over here on the offensive we have a nebu artemisia versus a charles martel and theodora i don't know how exactly accurate that garrison is but you know it's actually insane it got completely crushed if it is an accurate garrison but i mean just by looking at number of troops there's an overwhelming advantage for the rally over here it looks like this player's name is one sebu eight versus molodoy granite i don't know if i pronounce those properly i do apologize but we see that that nebu artemisia with a 2.5 million rally capacity against the 2.1 million garrison capacity it looks like they were in a pass over here a uh, 32.3 million lost for the attackers 82.7 million power lost for the defenders in that pass absolutely insane absolutely insane we see 2.3 million uh sev wounds and 2.3 million deads over here on the rally side with about 30 million slightly wounded and uh we see over here on the defender side 6.4 million dead troops with 6.1 million severely wounded 81 million slightly wounded this is crazy that means that this even though uh this garrison wasn't performing that well it looks like it was reinforced an insane amount of times and i imagine you know with reports like this guys these are such long fights that they probably were rotating between two or three different garrison captains i doubt that this single player was the garrison captain 
for the entirety of this rally but guys this is this is guys to put this into perspective okay in 2019 the number one killer of humans was heart disease 8.9 million people died in 2019 to heart disease and 8.8 .8 million troops were lost in this rally alone guys heart disease is responsible for 16 percent of all deaths in a given year that's insane to think about the same number of troops died in just this rally alone but you know it doesn't stop there because we're only at number four let's take a look at number three on the list and this is an insane war report okay it looks like this happened in may right we have phasey d versus a player whose name i can't pronounce but we see a gs there so we're just going to call him gs that's their alliance name anyway there was obviously some sort of glitch here right there's there's got to be some sort of glitch because the no total number of troops here just doesn't make sense so if you guys have this full report make sure you send it to me over on my discord link is in the description or you can send it to me in game if this report does still exist the problem guys if you're wondering why i don't have these actual reports um the problem is that a lot of times these reports are so big and so buggy uh once a you know a month or two goes by a lot of times it, you can't really open them it just it doesn't work i don't know what what it is but rise of kingdoms doesn't keep every war report forever right uh so i'm glad that we have these screenshots but yeah man this edward ysg hitting Emma Med Barca. I know this this could not have been their actual garrison. There's just no way, right? There, there's just no way that they actually used Emma Med uh, Barca. I don't actually know what the garrison was for this. So if you guys do know, comment in the comment section below. But man, this rally, 47.3 million power lost versus 94.4 million power lost for the defenders absolutely insanity i mean this must have been what a kvk2 right it, it had to have been if they're using an edward ysg 8.7 million dead troops with 55 million slightly wounded on the attacker side and we see over here we've got 12.8 million dead troops from the defenders absolutely got crushed by this archer rally 3.7 million severely wounded we got a little bit of healing up here as well and 103 million slightly wounded units guys this is this is pushing into territory of like two-thirds of the entire u.s population was involved in just this rally report in terms of troop numbers right like it's it's actually insane how big these numbers are getting here in rise of kingdoms and again this is not uh this doesn't look like it's heroic anthem or anything right you could see the troop capacities here obviously this is it's, it's this can't be accurate but this is not a heroic anthem or anything like that there's no kvk tech this is just legitimately an absolutely insane rally report from a younger kvk and this was back before they announced that players in kvk one through three are going to get their dead troops back half their dead troops right so these deads are real and permanent they are gone you're not getting them back after this kvk which makes those early kvks so absolutely savage and moving on to number two you're gonna see an insane spike in power loss this is an insane war report you can see here we have piggy nick versus I am Mac and this war report we have two screenshots for it looks like this happened in May as well and there was obviously something bugged out with this garrison in the past right there's just no way it was a blanketilla and this happens when you have war reports that are this big and just the game just freaks out right they don't know who was in the in the captain's seat uh, this may have been the captain for like the first quarter of a second and then they put in a real captain so I, I don't know what happened here but you can see the defenders with 258.6 million power loss in this pass versus the rally Zhang Yu Chandra Gupta with 253.9 million power loss as well guys I told you at the beginning you're gonna see these commanders more than once this is an insane rally composition you can see here the defenders with 18.6 million deaths 17.4 million severely wounded units and 233 million slightly wounded units absolutely insane guys the number of units involved in this rally alone exceeds the entire population of the united states it, it, like it this is it officially a fictional rally we could not reproduce this in the u.s if we wanted to there's just not enough people okay the rally over here with 19.1 million dead troops 18.4 million severely wounded and 215 million slightly wounded now we do have as i said before a second screenshot here so this down here is the portion of the report that we were just looking at but this is again guys this entire report is probably insanity right like the, the whole thing is just crazy you can see another player over here and i'm sorry i don't have your name it's cut off 
but this player it looks like maybe they double rallied this pass which is why it was so absolutely devastating uh but we've got 74.6 million power loss and 168.6 million power loss for that same pass garrison guys absolutely insane absolutely insane the amount of damage that was done to this single pass alone i would love to know the actual garrison here i imagine it was probably again multiple players but multiple Zenobia with YSS. I, I can't imagine that that wasn't the case. Rallies like this, they again, they last so long, right? They last so long, and I would have loved to have seen the entire report. I'm sure, you know, there's tons of AOE that's happening with Zhang Yu and Nebuchadnezzar. I'm sure there's just there's so much going on around these passes. This, these are the these are the uh, the fights that uh, you know keep Lilith in business uh, and also burn their servers to the ground, right? Like it's just two frames per second you can't do anything you don't know what's happening there's so much going on you're losing troops because you're stuck in aoe not from any fault of your own you're just standing there you're getting wrecked but my god what an absolutely devastating war report huge shout out to both alliances or all the alliances that were involved here obviously v612 you guys know these players right you know these bqqm huge shout out to you guys this was crazy may those troops rest in peace but this is not the end this is not the most deadly war report that we're going to talk about in this video today guys before i show number one if you haven't liked the video yet go ahead and do it and remember if you have insane war reports send them to me in discord there's a link down below i would love to see it and i'm sure that some of you watching right now are thinking i had a war report that happened in my kvk that was more deadly than the ones shown here I, i'm sure they exist i want to see them you got to send them to me on discord without further ado the number one most deadly war report in all of rise of kingdoms that i have ever seen drum roll please ladies and gentlemen we have phantom versus good father yes i got a million comments on the last video telling me that this was the most deadly war report that players have ever seen in rise of kingdoms and i have no idea how i missed this report for the first video but i swear to you i promise i went through at least four other rise of kingdoms discords and i did not see this screenshot anywhere i know play i know people made videos about it i didn't see the videos about it okay i don't watch every single rise of kingdoms video that ever gets posted and i i don't get it i don't know how this wasn't posted in any discords that i checked but this is without a doubt the most deadly war report i have ever seen in rise of kingdoms more deadly than anything we've talked about in this video or the last video this holds the crown this is the king of power loss right here and both these players absolutely insane both alliances deserve all the praise for what took place during this report alone we see here the defender phantom zenobia theodora we've got 40.2 million dead units 40.2 that is absolutely a mind-numbing amount i can't even imagine that 12.3 million severely wounded 368 million slightly wounded units which means that there were more troops in the garrison than there were in all of the united states of america right that's just the garrison that's an that's insane this battle report is basically entire world wars in a single rally right like that's what this is this is absolutely incredible the number of deads that we have here the Zangyu Chandragupta, what did I say, boys? What did I say? This is the rally combination of the year right now. Zangyu Chandragupta, 44.7 million dead units, no healing, no severely wounded, nothing like that. I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know what's going on over here, but there's 297.8 million slightly wounded units on the rally side. Guys, based on historical estimates, this war report has the same or more dead troops than all of world war ii all of world war ii right this has an insane amount of deads and i can't imagine how long this happened i'm sure that there are videos of this rally out there but my god what an absolute bloodbath i don't know how long it's going to be until we see a war report that is more deadly than this one but just think about the thousands of dollars that were lost during this rally alone thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars were lost just in troops uh in this war i can't imagine how much money lilith made off of what took down uh, took place uh and what went down in this rally it's just it's mind-blowing to think about the scale of rise of kingdoms and some of the things that 
players are able to accomplish in this game is absolutely crazy and i'm so happy that i am able to showcase uh some of these war reports for you guys in these videos the players and alliances that we see in this video are legendary they are the heart and soul of what makes rise of kingdoms absolutely insane when it comes to kvks when it comes to wars i mean this is some of the best most exhilarating gameplay that that you can ever have in rise of kingdoms right and this is what makes this game so incredible so much fun so addicting uh it is moments like this and i can't wait for the day that we see a war report that is more insane than this one guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so the rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below if you've seen a more insane war report than some of the ones that were shown in this video and again go ahead and check out my discord in the description if you want to send me some of those screenshots if you're new around here subscribe to the channel like i said earlier we're close to 20,000. so subscribe Click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff it's always down below as well as a link to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc it's a program called blue stocks it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms i've been using it for years it does help out the channel if you download it with that link and if you guys don't like the program you can always uninstall it later with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace